back on the air January, uh, January, Saturday, January 7th for our Elvis birthday show. Because his birthday is January 8th. Because Ghosty does and Ghosty knows best. And what we will be featuring is one of the things that I bought Terry for Christmas is the complete album, the complete master tapes. The entire studio session. The entire studio, studio session. Studio session of the Million Dollar Quartet from Sun Records when they got together. It was Jerry Lee, Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, and Carl Perkins. To get, now, this was rumored that it was recorded. It was rumored it exists. They waited until just recently to release it. Somebody sat on those fucking tapes <laughs> and never released it. Nobody knew if it even existed. Uh, Shelby Singleton, who bought out Sun Records... Got a singer called Orion, which I met. We were told that story. Spliced him together with some old Jerry Lee Lewis recordings. Orion admitted during my interview he never met Jerry. Did a duet and tried to make people believe it was a session song from the Million Dollar Quartet. He faked it and lied to everyone. We've got the real recording session. In sequential order, every comment, every take, every song, even duplicate versions of songs. Yes. With so, all those great legends from Sun Records that are all gone now. We will be featuring that uh, in our Elvis birthday show. And I met Carl Perkins and hung out with which him. Which will be Saturday, January 7th. For Elvis's birthday. For Elvis's birthday. And then, uh, two weeks after that, Saturday, January 21st, will be our next Crag Live. And we've decided for that one, we're going to do an album spotlight on the 1985... WWF wrestling album. I don't know if you guys remember this. It's called the wrestling it's called album. Called the wrestling album. It was from 1985, and it was you know all of the old greats from the WWF. It was Nikolai Volkov. It Singing was Cara Mia. Rowdy Roddy Piper. It was Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart doing his ode to why he's better than Rick Springfield. <laughs> Jesse the Body Ventura yes. before he was a governor. Mean Gene Okerlund doing what is it, a Jerry Lee Lewis song? Tootie eh? Fruity. Tootie Fruity. Uh, Little Richard song. Um, yeah. George the Animal Steel. George the Animal Steel. Hulk Hogan, of course. Yep. Um, and we'll probably fill it in with some other releases of, of the WWF. Yeah, because we'll WWE. have a three-hour show. They so, put out I mean, several volumes. This was the best there's one. Plenty of, there's, plenty, there's several volumes, and there's plenty of, uh, actually, believe it or not, there's plenty of albums where wrestlers sing. And it, it's uh, great Hulk Hogan, Terry Hulk Hogan actually put out one or two albums of his own. We'll probably as well. have that too. But this wrestling album is hosted by Mean Gene Oakland, Vince McMahon, and Jesse the Body. Oh, Vendor. Captain Lou is Captain on. Lou. Is on the wrestling album. He does album Captain too. Lou. Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> so, so that'll be fun. That'll be on. It January is fun. 21st. It is really fun. And it's hard to find. We just listened to it again yeah. earlier tonight. It's classic. 